Right, so I finally got this model, 267 or Weisman, uh, two rail model. Uh, rail motion with all the uh, features and sounds, etc., and moving parts on the model. And uh, yeah, ordered this on a Sunday evening, I think it was. And uh, it turned up on my doorstep today, the 1st of March, which was absolutely gobsmacked. I was expecting import charges and extra handling charges through the courier, but that never happened. It just came straight into the country, got delivered on my doorstep this afternoon when I got in for work. I couldn't believe it, so I was really impressed with the uh, whatever they've done on the shop side, sending it out. The shop I bought it from was uh, Model Band Shop Lippy. Things like Anthony Dodge recommended this uh, shop as well as uh, other YouTubers, and they said it. He said it's very good, and uh, really impressed. Because what you do, you it wasn't in stock, so you put a reservation, and they get it in stock, and then you've got three days to make your mind up whether you want it or not, and then they work out a special uh, deal price for you when you make up an account and go onto their system properly. And uh, yeah. The list price at Weisman Direct was, let's go to it, Weisman Direct is 619, 620 euro I'll say. You've got shipping on top of that I think. Uh, prices include VAT and shipping costs. All oh, right, that's not too bad. But then the price from Model Shop Van Lippy was 570. But they work out a better price than that. I got it for 489 euros, which is even better. That equivalates to 435 pound with the shipping out all the extra charges. So 435 for this is an absolute bargain price. Because if you buy it in the UK from uh, a shop in the UK, you're talking a lot more money, or even if you do it direct from Weissman and Salons, you're talking quite a bit more money, so really happy. Happy with the way the shop ships it out, the box boxed it up really nice, well, uh, updates were really good, the invoice you properly, it's just brilliant. Because I had a bad experience uh, buying the one previous to this, which didn't, never turned up. It got sent out to the wrong country, but that's a, another story. Well, yeah, really impressed with this. The box. It's a really nice box. And uh, the pictures on the side are what are on the, uh, the Weisman website. You've got the uh, nice pictures on the side there. Really nice box information on the side there on the end so yeah we'll get this out have a look I'm not gonna work it tonight I'm just gonna get it out and have a look at the box right so let's have a look at this amazing model and see how the box opens it's got a, a latch here and it's also got a latch here so let's try and get this open just push in on the lug there and it pops out on the side like that and I didn't want to rip the box because I want to keep the box immaculate if possible and the same with that one you push in slightly and it pops out like that and then we can turn the box around and then hopefully that will just slide off nicely like that and we get access to uh, the documentation telling you about the panzer graph and the mounting screws etc and uh, a nice instruction manual similar to the uh, other plaza um, tampering machine I've got very similar manual etc so that's all self-explanatory in different languages as well which is good multi-languages put that aside 
Right, um, right here it goes, let's take the lid off. See what it looks like. Oh, this is. There we go. Wow, that's nicely packaged. That beautiful protection on there. Really nice. Pull that off. Let's have a look at what we've got here. This is a uh, small little bag of extra. Coupling systems, etc. Oh, that's the two different types. Couplings and something else there, so I'm not sure what that is. Extra items for maybe the display track, I don't know. We'll pull that off. And yeah, I'm happy with that. Happy with the colouring. I know a couple of uh, modellers on YouTube have not been happy with the uh, certain aspects of this model, but I'm not bothered, I like it. I'm, I'm really impressed. Just look at, just as a display model, I'm happy. I mean, the print work on it is really, really highly detailed. A lot of detail on there. And the plastic, you can barely see it. It's in a slightly different tone. It's got plastic written down the side. You can notice it in certain light, but it's a shame that wasn't done in a slightly different colour of yellow, but it's not a, not a big deal. Really nice that. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's see if I can get this out. I know it's bolted to the plinth, so I'll tell you what, let's... I'm not sure which is the best way to get this out, I'll tell you the truth. Um, let's pull that end. Now that's really tight, it's in there really, really tight, so I'm just going to take it out of its box completely. Move that aside. Sometimes you get push holes through on the on the reverse side of the box, but I don't think there is any in this. You've just got to carefully manipulate it off the actual plinth, which is easier said than done. There we go. That's one end. There's the other. Just carefully take it out. There we go. Right, so there we go, that's all bolted and screwed to the, uh, the glass plinth. So these are extra little bits on the end, they're just, I'm not sure. They're just, I suppose they're just extra packing on the ends there. Oh yeah, really happy with that, that looks nice, pantograph details really nice, print work on it's really crisp. Yeah I'm well happy with this, you've got a nice guy in the cab there, which is a detail that I always uh, complain about on other models when they don't add a, add a driver in. They add loads of detail on certain models and manufacturers they don't put a driver in there but to have that nice extra detail in there that's good. But yeah I'm well happy with that. Yeah I just thought I'd compare it in length with the, uh, the original one I've got. So obviously it's quite a lot longer. Well, this model has been really, really good. I've had this quite a long time now, and it's just worked flawlessly. It's really a very well made model. But yeah. Just show a couple of pictures, and then uh, on the next video, I'll show it working.